Climate change in Kenya is increasingly impacting not just the lives of the citizens, but the environment as well, with more frequent extreme weather conditions that have been accompanied by irregular and unpredictable rainfall patterns, flooding, and increasing temperatures. The effects of these climatic changes have made already existing challenges with water security, food security, and economic growth even more difficult. Harvests and agricultural production, which account for about 33% of the total gross domestic product, are also at risk. Early November this year, during the COP26 World Leaders Global Summit in Glasgow, Scotland, President Uhuru Kenyatta expressed concern over the unpredictable climatic changes that have destabilized nature, further calling for action towards developing and accelerating strategic action plans. Part of Kenya's long-term strategy that is being finalized and depending on levels of international support, as well as the principles of equity and fairness, we project to meet net zero target by 2050. In response to the climatic impact on farmers, scientists have been coming up with early maturing, drought and disease tolerant, high yielding and also introducing the production in other semi-arid areas in Kenya. Currently, the country produces about 275,000 pigeon peas against 1 million ton on demand, with the crop mainly cultivated in eastern area of Ukambani, and coastal region. The benefits of the government pigeon peace project are already being felt by farmers in Nyahururu Laikipe County, commending the crop variety for its adaptability and ability to flourish within the area. Pigeon peace, locally known as Mbaazi, does well in a temperature region between 18 to 38 degrees centigrade, annual rainfall range of 600 to 1000 millimeters, and thrive in a well drained soil of an optimal pH of 5 to 7. Speaking in Laikipia while conducting a participatory variety selection and evaluating new pigeon peace varieties with local farmers, Professor Paul Kimani a lecturer at the Department of Plant Science and Crop Protection at the University of Nairobi, says the government has been looking for technologies that can help farmers cope with the current situation of climate change by growing crops that require minimal amounts of water. This is like you can see in this field, you know, it's a very good example. Pigeon pea, this crop has not received any water at all. And you know, the, you know, the first long rain season of, of the year failed. Now we're in the second season, and this is November, and it's still very, very dry. But you can look at these plants, you know, and the productivity, you can see the number of poles. So pigeon pea is one of the most drought-tolerant crops. And the reason why it's so drought-tolerant is that it has very deep roots. They can go even up to more than um, 1.5 meters, which means they can get, extract water and nutrients from, uh, from the ground. Farmers in this area were not growing pigeon peas and thus have been surprised on how the crop varieties have done well beyond the expectations. One Samuel Deuri, a farmer in Gatundia village, testifies on how the crop has unimaginably done well. And I am surprised in this area we have not been doing pigeon peas, but surprisingly they have done very, 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 very well, even beyond our expectation. We thought that pigeon peas are only grown in very arid areas, Mashakos, Kitui, those areas eastern side. But we were surprised at the level of performance of pigeon peas in this area. Okay, we have, we, have, we, have, we have about 12 varieties that have been planted here. And out of those 12 varieties, the earliest has matured within five months. And uh, those who were tending to, to be a bit late is about six and a half months. Another farmer, Margaret Wangari from Munyu village, says the new varieties grow faster, have good yields, and are suitable for the area. Basi kama variety sita, ziyo zinaesafanya mzuri yapa. Kwa jiri kwa mazao, hiko na mazao mzuri, inamea mzuri, na inakuwa mzuri. Na ukiagaria kwa matawi, ama kwa, kwa begu, zile zimeweka kwa hiyo, kwa hiyo stem, hiko na mazao migi. 
kwa kuza ina saa zaidi na kwa matawi na kwa variety yake ni variety mzuri zote According to Professor Kimani notwithstanding the new technological advances many farmers still grow low yielding late maturing land races and take up to 11 months to mature in the field but notes that adoption of improved variety by smallholder pigeon pea farmers is key to increase their outputs and incomes. India imports from Kenya a substantial amount of pigeon peas for Dal, the Indian split pea making. Professor Kimani, however, notes that Kenya has not been able to optimally supply the market since farmers are not producing enough and also lack proper organizational structures. The farmers are also not taking advantage of the improved and modern varieties. There's a huge export market. Countries like India import substantial amounts, especially for dal making, and they like the Kenyan pigeon peas. But Kenya has not been able to supply this market because either the farmers you know, don't produce enough and they are not very well organized. And besides, they are not exploiting the modern variety. The improved long nine months, medium six months, and short four months duration pigeon pea cultivars were developed and released in Kenya during the last 20 years by the University of Nairobi, Kenya Agricultural Livestock and Research Institute, Calro, and International Crop Research Institute for the Semi Arid Tropics. This now stands hopeful in the agricultural sector in the quest for mitigating climatic action for food security. Claudio Otieno, Metropol TV.